This is a model of a steam engine. Coal or wood is burned to heat the water in the boiler. When the water boils, it produces steam, which expands up to 1,600 times the area taken up by the water when it was cool. Because the steam is in a closed container, the pressure increases. The steam is brought from the boiler to the engine through pipes where it goes into the cylinder at one end and forces the piston to move. The piston pushes on a rod, which moves the crank and turns the flywheel. The flywheel moves a belt, which supplies power to various machines in the factory. The motion of the flywheel also turns an off-center crank called an eccentric, which moves a rod that controls a valve in the steam box. The valve moves and closes off the steam going into one end of the cylinder, and opens the other end so that the steam can enter the cylinder and forces the piston to travel back to where it started. Notice that when the valve closes off one end of the cylinder, it opens the other, and also opens the exhaust port, so that the steam, which has lost most of its temperature and pressure, can be pushed out into the open air. This motion continues, and the engine begins to run faster and faster. If there is not enough coal, the heat will die down, the water will cool down, and the engine will stop. If there is too much coal and not enough water, the boiler will overheat. Then when more water is added, it will turn to steam too quickly and may blow up the boiler. If the engine is operating fast, adding more coal and water will make more and more steam, which will continue increasing the pressure, which may blow up the boiler. The safety valve pops at 115 pounds of pressure to release some of the steam. To keep the boiler from exploding, the pressure release valve must be pulled to blow off the excess steam. 